What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Money Mondays. In today's episode, I'm gonna be going deep into why I'm going all in on content marketing in 2023. So let's get started. Content marketing, right? We've been hearing this from the likes of Gary Vee for the last, what, 10 years now, if not more. Content, 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 put out more content, build your social media channels, build the relationship with your own audience because if you can have access to your own audience, then you're going to have access to the world. You're gonna have access to brand partnerships. You're gonna have access to equity deals. You're gonna have access to other people who might be want, willing to build businesses with you. You're gonna have access to clients. You're gonna have, when you have your own audience, you're in control and you don't have to, I'll be honest, like you don't have to pimp yourself out to whoever does control the audience, right? Like we've seen this play out in Hollywood for years. It's like you have no creative control, you have no freedom, same thing with the music industry. Like you lose everything in exchange for getting access to the machine's audience that they have captured, right? But when we have our own audiences, then all of a sudden that opens us up to serve that audience however we feel is best. And I think a lot of times that creates a much more genuine connection and it allows us to build better products and services for our people, right? So I think that it, it's pretty obvious at this point that social media marketing is the way of the future and we, you and me, are going to become the Super Bowl commercials of the future, right? By the time we're in 2030, 2040, I think that television advertising is gonna be relatively uh, underpriced and then our attention is going to end up being much more highly valued. And by our attention, I mean our people's attention, our audience's attention because the conversions on a Super Bowl commercial are gonna be pretty low because it's basically cold, but then our conversions, if we've done a good job of genuinely building trust and a relationship with our audiences, then I think that those conversion rates are going to be wildly higher and brands are going to finally catch on and be willing to pay for that. Again, I'm not saying anything new. This has been Gary Vee's thesis for <laughs> at least a decade, right? So why am I bringing that up in the beginning of this video? Well. There's a lot of things that are going, I don't wanna say against us, but as entrepreneurs, there's a lot of things going against us. What do I mean? Well, first and foremost, the economy's tanking, at least here in the United States. Um, geopolitically, there's a lot of tension in the world. So the globalization and movement of money is at risk. Crypto is at risk of regulation, especially after the uh, uh, you know FTX scandals and things of that nature. So there's a lot of things and variables and forces that are increasing the pressure on business people and entrepreneurs um, in a negative way, right? And so when I sit here and I think about, well, how can we transcend those pressures? How can we transcend the constraints of business in the modern era? And to me, the personal brand is it. And it, it's, again, it, it's so annoying that it's taken me so long to reach this light bulb moment in my own head. And hopefully a lot of you have reached this sooner, but let me cut to the point. Why am I going all in on content marketing in 2023? Because Alex Ramosi said not too long ago that fame is the most scalable business model. And I completely believe that because what's happening right now is the creator economy is expanding. There's so many more creators in the marketplace now than there were five years ago, than there were 10 years ago, certainly than there were 20 years ago. Everybody's a TikToker now, everybody's a YouTuber, everybody's an Instagram person now. And so because the creator economy is expanding, eventually what's going to happen is there's going to be so many influencers and micro influencers that have built these genuine connections with people because the creator economy has matured and there's been time for those connections and those personal brands to really be established. And not even personal brands, but product brands that take a personalized approach, right? Products or businesses that have Twitter pages, that have Instagram pages that actually interact with their followers and with their customers. Those types of brands are the only brands that will be able to capture business I believe in the near future. Meaning, if you come out with a product and that product is nameless, faceless, soulless, like it's just a thing and it does something that's, you know, it's, a, it's an improvement. It is a genuine innovation in the marketplace and it's a little bit better than whatever the previous version of that product was or whatever your competition is, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think that selling mildly better widgets is going to be possible in the next, really now, to be completely honest. I think right now it's impossible because I'm 
personally know from experience, I've bought into people's products, courses, um, programs, etc. They were kind of trash, but their personal brand was so good and so big that they were able to make a sale over the next uh, company or product just because of the personal brand and because of the social proof that I had attributed with them. Now, with that being said, unless you're able to back it up, you're not going to be able to exponentially grow your business or your brand, meaning if people come in on the front end because they have brand trust and loyalty with you because you've built that, and then your product or service itself is disappointing, then you're going to be able to get them in, in on that initial purchase, but then you're not gonna have any lifetime value because they're gonna drop off after they realize, oh, it was all hype on the front end, and now once I'm actually interacting with the product or service, they're a bad operator, the business fundamentals aren't very good, the value system that they're using is poor, whatever it is, and and you're gonna lose those people, right? So I think the real winners of you know the, the 2020s and 2030s are going to be the people who build a brand and then can truly back that up with solid business fundamentals and phenomenal product delivery, right? Those are the people that are just going to absolutely kill it because nobody's gonna buy from anybody else. Like, can you imagine if, and, and I will say some of the established brands like Coca-Cola, for example, they're so established that it's gonna be hard for them to get, uh, for them to lose sales. But then again, you look at something like Logan Paul with Prime, right? And it's like, okay, well, here's this established brand that is nameless and faceless. And then here's this energy drink that's brand new on the market and just killing it because of who it's attached to. Can I see a future where five or 10 years from now, Coca-Cola is starting to drop because there's no connection to that product? Because all the people that we would consider old timers who grew up drinking Coca-Cola and watching the commercials and everything, they're kind of, they're, they're, they're not really um, um, participating in the marketplace anymore. And then the new age people are just boosting up this personal brand backed product that we all know. Can I see that happening? I honestly could. I honestly could. So if you as a person don't have a story or your brand, even if it needs to be faceless, if it doesn't have a story, if it doesn't have a connection with the audience, if it isn't directly in tune with who that product or service is serving and that brand has an identity of itself, I don't think you can compete. And we're gonna have to see if a lot of the big brands and big companies like Coca-Cola, can they really make that connection with the people? Again, I think that they've kind of embedded themselves into the psychology of America for now. We just gotta see if they can do that with the next generation. Um, but right now they're safe. So again, as a person or as a brand, can you connect with the people? That's gonna be really, really critical moving forward because fame, as Alex said, is the most scalable business model. Here's the second reason that I'm going all in on content marketing in 2023. AI is getting really scary, like really scary because as a coach, as a consultant, as a speaker, as a thought leader, as an influencer, it's gonna to get to a point very, very quickly, like within the next 12 months, where somebody's gonna build a coaching model that has analyzed the best practices of every Fortune 500 company in the last 100 years, and will have read all of Warren Buffett's essays, and will have read uh, uh, Ray Dalio's books, and will have read this, and will have read that, and it's going to have better advice than me, through and through. Like, I'm not gonna be able to compete with it, because the base of knowledge that it's pulling from is going to be so vastly superior to mine. And real, like realistically, all that coaching and consulting is, is being able to have a vast pool of knowledge in diverse areas of expertise and then connecting the dots to say, okay, here's what makes sense for you, for this particular situation. Being able to establish those mental connections and say this model is gonna work in this situation, that's what makes a really, really good coach. And of course, being able to articulate that in a way that's palatable to the client. But what I'm trying to say is, I'm not going to be able to compete with the endless possible knowledge and pool of insight that AI is going to be able to pull from very, very soon, right? However, there's something about that human connection and that human personality that's just irreplaceable. What do I mean by that? The Rock is at no risk of being replaced by AI. Leo DiCaprio is at no risk of being replaced by AI. E.T. is at no risk of being replaced by AI. I think Gary V. Grant, like these guys are not at risk. 
because they like people want to work with people people want human to human connection people want to feel like there's an energy exchange between human beings like we just naturally are wired for that like psychologically we are wired as basically pack animals and so that's where this whole concept comes from of well we want to do business with people that we know like and trust will we one day be able to know like and trust ai i think we're going to get there but i think over the next 10 20 years the people that have massive personal brands are going to be the the winners because if all i'm offering you is information and insight i can be out competed by a machine if I'm offering you information and insight and a personality to go with it, and somebody that you know has your best interests in mind, somebody who has a soul that really cares for you, I don't think I can be outcompeted then. You understand? And so I think that, again, content, content, content in 2023. So the last thing that I'll say is relationships create opportunities. And that's something that AI is not going to be able to compete with, again, at least in the near future. What I mean by this is, if I'm somebody that maybe I do a podcast interview with somebody and they say, man, that was a phenomenal interview. I would love to actually get you on my buddy's show. He's, he does a lot of the same content, a lot of the same topics. I think you guys would be great together. Would you like, you want me to make the, the introduction? Absolutely. Sure. Let's do it. Let's go. And then I go to his podcast and he says, man, I actually am doing this project with somebody else. I'm doing this mastermind. Would you be willing to come speak at it? Great. Let's go. I go over there somebody from the mastermind hits me up on the side and says, Hey, I'd actually love to work with you directly. One-on-one -on -one, $20,000 client, right? AI is not going to be able to do that. Relationships is where the opportunity comes from because every business, it, it, it's so funny to me how we tend to think of people and businesses as two separate things, but it's not because all a business is, is a group of people who are, are aligned towards a common goal or mission. That's all it is. And those people are building process procedures to build this machine that we think of as the business to create that outcome that they're seeking, right? But you take the people away, well now it's just a machine. Well, can the machine grow and evolve and make strategic decisions on itself with AI one day, maybe? But for now, business is still people. And if you don't have those relationships, you're going to be very limited in the opportunities that you receive. And so, yeah, AI might be able to replace us in terms of content. We might be able to have a talking head that's doing, just giving the best advice in the world. But do I think that it will be able to replace the exponential scalability of that human factor? I don't, at least not yet. So what am I doing about this, right? I just gave you three reasons why I'm going all in on content marketing. Number one, because fame is the most scalable business model. Number two, because AI is getting kind of scary and I need to be irreplaceable and that means I need a personality component in addition to the information. And then number three, because relationships bring opportunities. So what am I gonna do about this? Well, I'm actually talking with my editor um, and we're, we're just pumping content day in and day out. And I'm posting twice a day on all major social medias. Currently that's LinkedIn, Facebook Reels, TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. And then we're also posting YouTube videos five days a week as well between different podcasts, Money Monday videos like this, the Cabin Checks, the Flex Fridays. Um, we're, we're just doing all of that, right? Because I don't know if I have a formula for you on exactly how to build this but I can tell you that this is the right direction to go in and I can tell you what I'm doing, which is pump as much content as I possibly can, see what sticks, latch onto that, double down on it and continue forward. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Share this with somebody that would also find it valuable. Share it with somebody who needs a push to go all in on their personal brand and on their content marketing in 2023 and beyond. And I'll see you on the next Money Mondays. Peace. Thank you.